What's up YouTube? This is Scrumpy and um, <clears throat> this is just an update on my uh, new server. Um, I've now officially called it Scrumpy Craft. That's going to be the official name. And um, ever since you guys last saw it, I've done a lot of work. Let me get rid of this inventory. Got a creative mode. Okay, so I've changed the spawn a lot. I mean a lot, man. Like, the old spawn is still there, and I'm going to get back to that later, because there's a little special something for you griefers. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. Um, so yeah, this is the new spawn area. It's, um, a little bit like the first one. You know, we did copy and paste, but we edited the shit out of it. So, when we first start, um, oh wait, I'm going to go ahead and say that, uh, the spawn isn't set here yet, because we're not completely done with it. But uh, once we are done, the, so the spawn will be set here. Um, it's not like I don't want anyone coming here. I just don't want people spawning here. The spawn right now is still in the old spawn, which I will show you towards the end of the video. So anyways, over here we have the uh, Welcome to Scrumpy Craft sign. You know, gotta please read all the rules. I have added uh, colored signs. Uh, makes it look nicer. I've also had, uh, I'll type something here. Um, we have a, uh, a group management now, which I will get on, I will get back to later. Um, whenever you first spawn, uh, Please read all the signs. Um, if you get in trouble for something you didn't know you weren't supposed to be doing, that's your own fault, okay? Please read the signs. Over here we have the ranks, which is the group management. So at the top we have owner, which obviously is me. That's only one position, obviously. Um, under that we have head admin, which is also only one a it's only one position, which is impact M. Under that we have admin. My three admins are I'm Skull Bastion236. Uh, Mac Attack, and uh, my friend Roy, but he doesn't, he's not really helping people out, he's just, I just opt him because he's my friend and he just likes to do stupid stuff. Um, we have moderators, which are basically people who are going to help admins. Um, you'll only be promoted a moderator if you're very helpful, and you're, uh, like, moderators are basically admins, except they can't, like, they can't uh, use world edit and they can't spawn themselves stuff. They can ban, kick, jail all that good stuff towards people so basically moderators are just people to help admins they're just like another form of admin but not quite as powerful and they also obviously they can't op um under that we have vip they um they can't do anything that moderator can do well most of the stuff um basically the only thing about vip is that they get a bunch more they're basically default but with a shit ton more commands i'm talking teleportation you know, teleport to people like, if you're default, the only thing you get is slash spawn, set home, home, and that's pretty much all I can think of. VIP, um, I'm still working on it, but I'm going to make it where you can get God, you can heal yourself, you can already teleport to people, um, I think you can teleport people to you, I'm not sure. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff as a VIP, so it's definitely worth it. Um, the only thing is, I haven't really made an official way on how you get VIP. Um, basically, if you're just really good so far at the moment, that's what I got so far, is if you're just really good and stuff, you'll get the IP. But, um, only special people get moderator. One way I've actually made out that you can get moderator is if you're basically a snitch. If you can, if you can tell me people who are griefing, you know, you know, get some people banned, you know, you can get yourself the moderator. I actually do have one moderator. Over here we have the disciplinary system. Um... You guys, if you've seen the old update video of my, my uh, server, you might want to just skip this entire first section, because this is just the rules and stuff. Anyways, disciplinary system, this is how I made my server work. The first time you get an offense of griefing or anything like that, you, uh, you're you getting a very harsh warning. Um, random items out of your inventory will be taken, like anything. I'm saying like they can take from one piece of dirt to... 30 pieces of diamond, whatever, you know, they can take bunches of stuff or nothing. Um, they can take stuff from your house too, they will not destroy your house, that's one thing that won't happen in first offense, but stuff will be taken out of your inventory and your chest. And you will also, and or, which means you will, you could also be jailed, or you might just be jailed, or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's the first offense, and then it's as simple as this, second time you fuck up, you are banned. And if you want to get unbanned, you can just private message me on YouTube, you know, stating why you got banned, why you should be unbanned, etc. Rules are pretty, you know, pretty simple, you know, the same thing as every other server. Don't grieve, don't be an ass, don't destroy admin-built structures, 
Um, that pretty much goes under grief because I'm going to be t protecting this entire place so you guys, griefers, can't destroy. I had a big problem with griefers destroying sp parts of the spawn that weren't protected. I had a huge problem with that. So I'm going to protect this entire place and protect smaller places so other people can build in houses and whatnot. Um, don't destroy admin built structures. Obey admins and respect them. And yeah, that's pretty much the rules. Um, available commands, you can make factions. You can create, leave, and join them, and economy. Um, I'm sure there are others that I just didn't put on there. So as we move on, we have this giant S. Um, oh, gee, I wonder what that could stand for. And then over here we have, um, this is the uh, chart that will show you all the owners. Or I mean, well, I mean, it will show you the owner. The head admin, uh, admins. And once I uh, get it settled, you know, the, it'll show you the moderators and VIPs as well. And over here is the wall of shame. These are all the people who have been banned. The Sea Tater, Nunner, Mr. Green, 101, Nom Nom, Trollmeister, Screaming, Coming for You, A Haven, I'm Looking for You, Noah, Reagan, Mongo Man, Reality Beast, John the Wii, PJ Bent, Extreme Marksman 5, Killzone, Germans Gone Wild. What the fuck kind of name is that? And yy to you. As we move on, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a big glimpse. There's me over there. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, we have three castles up here at the moment. We have that one, which is a faction that's strictly just for a faction that uh, my head admin created called Mega. And then over here is the spawning area castle. And then over there is going to be like where you can buy and rent, or not rent, but like, you know, buy houses to start in. I'm going to go ahead and show you this place first. Over here is our plug in time is money. Basically, um, let's see how long I've been on the server. I've been on it for a while, <clears throat> just perfecting everything. And you just come over here and you click that and you get. For every minute that you're on the server, you get one dollar. Moving on. Um, I haven't done anything over there yet, but if you come this way, it's gonna be like a, a New York style kind of thing. How it's like you walk down the road and everything's just on the side, sorta. Um, over here is gonna be the prison, or it already is the prison. If you're jailed, you will be sent here. Got some cake for people who are hungry, and there's the prison cell. It's very nice. Um, let's come over here. You get a, a chest to put your junk in. Um, you get some bunk beds in case you have a buddy. But in prison, I'm sure he'll just want to sleep with you. You have a toilet to do your business, a sink, and a nicely wrote note on the wall. All right. Over here we have the admin store. Now, um, if you guys remember the old admin store, it was really shitty. There was like four things to buy, and that's it. This new admin store is a lot better. Alright, welcome to the admin store. You may buy any color wool or rare block. So, over here we'll have the rare blocks. We have ice, pumpkins, glowstone, uh, smooth brick, ender portal, obsidian, nether brick, mossy cobblestone, bricks, and piston, a sticky piston. Um, and then in the center we have all the colors of wool. Um, all wool, you, everything comes in stacks except for, I think it's... It's the ender portal. For 150, you can get 12 of them just so you can make a portal. And I think that's it. And um, that's all we sell at the admin store. You can suggest if you want other stuff that we should sell. And over here, we have the chest shop. Basically, this is a place where you can only, like at the admin store, you can only buy things. Here, you can only sell things. Welcome to the chest shop. You can only sell items here to make some money. Left click assigned to sell your item to the shop. So, we have stuff that's either common or stuff that you might have you know some minerals type things we have redstone sand gravel gold in gold diamond iron cobblestone dirt and wood that you can all sell and then here we have a little something I made called the deal of the day basically every once in a while not necessarily every day but every once in a while when I get on I might change this up um right now it, oh yeah I've not, what am I doing I'm explaining what it is um basically every once in a while when I get on I will change it and to a random item not random but you know something that normally you wouldn't sell um today it was fence last time it was like a water bucket you know last time it was a gold block and basically you can sell this item and you can get a good price so I was selling water buckets for one water bucket you could get a hundred coins you know that's awesome and this time it is if you sell a thousand fences you get 850 that's a great deal and so that's what the, the deal of the day is and this is basically the 
chest shop. Really nice. This is all I've done on this side, so this pretty much sums it up for uh, the uh, spawn area. Moving on, um, over here we have the giant statue I made. I might actually make it where uh, in the end game, if you can, uh, if you give enough money, you know, I might sell you a uh, statue, or like I'll build one for you if you uh, pay me. I might make it like 500, and you can get your. Or no, but I'll probably make it more because I don't want a bunch of statues everywhere. But uh, for like maybe like 2,000 coins, that's probably what I'm gonna make it. 2,500, something like that. I'll build yourself. I'll build you a statue. So it came. I thought it came out pretty nice. Oh, and as you can see, it indeed looks just like me. And I'll even show you the back where it has XSX. Um, I haven't built a road over here because this is relatively new, but over here, um. It is the, uh, oh, the doors didn't come right. That's weird. We have, uh, houses that you can buy. Everything in here is a house that you can buy. So we have this one, it's a thousand. And then we have, uh, most of them are copy and pasted from villages, just because they look nice. So all of these houses over here are 350. And except for this one right over here, that's 300, because it's uh, a little bit smaller. Most people would be like, oh, it's so much taller, why, should, why is it not more? Because... If you look inside, it's the exact same size as the other one on the inside, except this one also comes with a backyard, so, you know, that's why it's $50 more. And then we have one that I built myself, uh, just a little something, and it costs $1,200, but it's a lot more roomier, you know, it's got upstairs and whatnot. Um, the stairs didn't move the right way whenever I copied and pasted this, because this, this entire building was actually a, a building in the uh, spawn area. Over here we have a potion shop. It uh, currently is not filled because whenever I, uh, whenever my friend made it, he for didn't make all the fucking fillings in it. He he like made it off a YouTube video, but whatever. Um, over here we have a nice well in case you're thirsty, even though you cannot drink in Minecraft or you can't drink raw water, you know, just like that. Over here are actually the bigger houses that you can get, except for that one, which I'll show you in a second. Um, they're 500 because they are a lot larger. And if you edited the roof a little bit, you could probably make it upstairs. But uh, they're a lot more roomier. They don't come with anything inside like the other ones do, but still, you know, there's a lot more room. Um, over here, this one costs 25, and it is small as dog shit. There is nothing to do in here. Like I would kill myself if I ever had to stay in there. Um, and then 350. It's about the same size as the one that spawned, and then another $500 one. Um, and we have like one more row of houses over here. Once again, these are 500. I do believe they're the exact same size as the last ones. And yep, I am right. And we have a skeleton over there. He's already browsing our inventory of houses. And now he's going to die. Alright, so this is the spawn city. I mean, not spawn city. Um, these are the houses. Very nice houses. And then last, we have the faction that my friend made. It's um not really much to do here, but it, it is really nice though. I'll give him this. He is a great builder. I want to give Impact M, uh, my head admin. I want to give him a lot of credit. He um he was the made that he was the one that made the outer border for this um this little castle over here, and uh, he did copy and paste my castle, this one like the bet like the towers right here and like the sides and whatnot. Uh, so this was my making, but he made all the internal stuff, so that was really nice. And he made all the giant staircases, and I thought they looked amazing. As you can see, there's a bunch of staircases leading up. And this is just the beginning. This is just w all that we did in like one day. So after about a week, this is just going to look fantastic, at least I hope. And um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Now that the video is about to be over, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you're going to come to if you just join the server. So here we have the old spawn. Um, there is lava everywhere. You might want to watch out for that. There's fire, shit's destroyed, and everything is just messed up. All the um, areas, all of the regions here are all deleted, so you can fuck whatever you want up here. I would like to make one announcement, however. Um, to all of you concerned who are already on the server who have houses here, um, if you have a house here, then your region was kept, was remained untouched. So, you will have a chance to come get your house, we can copy and paste into a new town, or you can just start over and get all your stuff. Um, 
I did not destroy your stuff, and it still has a region on it, so it can't be destroyed, so don't worry. Um, believe it or not, I actually did all this griefing myself. Yes, I griefed my own server. Like, I griefed the fuck out of it, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I, over here are the signs that will explain it. Welcome to Griefville. The spawn has been changed, and you may grief this area as you like. Anyone with a home will, res will remain protected until your things are, emo are moved. Um... Yeah, we just have lava and fire everywhere, and I had so much fun doing this. I mean, really. And before you try coming here, you know, thinking that you're going to get all the iron blocks that are placed, I did destroy all the uh, important blocks, like the diamond and gold that was over there. Um, a bunch of iron blocks that was everywhere. I kept all the wool and glowstone because there was too much of it, and you get, if you guys want, you can get that. I still need to move that chest into the new area. Um, you know, a few more spawns I need to delete. And, uh, yeah, um, I haven't griefed everything, but most of it. I have removed the, um, rem the Rubik's. I don't know if I'm going to bring that back, but for the most part, it's gone. Ooh, I almost forgot about this diamond piece right here. Um, I have deleted all of the diamond pieces in the baby Rubik's. And, uh, as you can see, the master Rubik's, instead of being blocks, it is now fully fire. I thought that was pretty cool. It's not even loading all the way because it's so much shit. Um... Let's see. Like I said, uh, if you were already had a house here, don't worry. Your shit's still protected until you can move your shit. Um, let's see. All the Rubikses have deleted. There's, you know, whatchamacallit. Um, let's see. What, what other houses are over here? Here's the original castle. Here's where all the houses were. This is where I copied it from. You no, know just for the hell of it, I might grief some shit on here. Having so much fun. Let's see. Make sure I deleted the notifications. Sweet. It's so fun griefing. It really is. But uh, but I'm gonna go. And s I'm gonna go and say this right now. I do not support griefing. Uh, you know. So all you people are like, oh, griefing's bad. I, I don't actually support it. But you know, it's my own server, so it can't harm anyone except me, and I'm okay with it. So everything's cool. For all you griefers out there, fuck you guys. You, you have no right destroying people's shit. But I'm not here to preach. Um, anyways, if you guys want, you know, go ahead. Fuck. Destroy shit over here. I would give you guys free fire, but if you found the original spawn and you just got a little crazy, you know, I don't want things to get out of hand. Um, anyways, let's see. I think that's everything. Yeah, I didn't actually get a chance to copy and paste everything into the new area. Or grief everything or delete all the regions. I'm probably going to do that by the end of this video. But, um, thanks for watching. And, uh, the server IP will be in the description and in an annotation above. So, this is Scrappy signing out. Well, actually, not really. I'm just stopping the video. But, you know, that's like what news people say. You know, I, I think I might grief one more thing just for the sake of the video. Do, 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 do. Hey there, Mr. Zombie. <coughs> Bye there, Mr. Zombie. You know, if I wasn't so lazy, I would totally just make, like, I mean, I would enable TNT and, oh, I would blow so much shit up around here. But I don't feel like doing all that. Alright, time to end the video. Goodbye, YouTube.